Hello? Are you in there? I hope you ain't having a turn out. Look, Lexi's on now. You're missing her performance. Uh, Jay. Uh, Hello? I'm all right. Look, I'm coming in, all right? Okay. Lola? Are you all right? I'm okay. Well, what's happened? Are you hurt? I don't know. Uh, my colleague told me that you think you might have fainted earlier. Yeah, when you pet it like that, it makes you feel a bit stupid for coming down here. Not at all. You wouldn't believe some of the reasons people come to see us. Yesterday, a bloke waited six hours to have a pee removed from his nose. He was 46. <laughs> all right, that makes me feel a little bit better. The paramedics wouldn't have brought you in if they didn't think you needed looking at. Well, you were here not long ago for your arm. Is that right? Yeah, there was a break in and I got roughed up a bit. So. Oh. Apart from the arm, were there any other injuries? Did you bang your head or...? No, nothing like that. Any other symptoms? No, not really. No, well, you've had headaches, haven't you? And a few dizzy spells. OK. Well, I know you said there was no previous injury to your head, but uh, given that you were involved in an incident, I'd like to do a CT scan. Just to check there hasn't been a bleed or anything else that might have caused a faint. And I'll get someone to come take some bloods too. Thanks. You know, I was thinking... When we're out here, we should go on holiday. Somewhere hot. You know, for a break, me, you and Lexi. She'd love that. So you can just jump in and out the pool all day. And you can lay on a sunbed and get burnt. Mm. Better bring plenty of pack to 50, we know you like to burn. Well, I'll bring my long sleeves and my own umbrella. How's that? No. Sorry, Tom. Don't worry. I think they make these chairs deliberately uncomfortable. <laughs> Some sort of endurance turf. Yeah. Hi. Lola Pierce? Yeah. I'm Dr Burgess, a consultant physician. I've just been taking a look at your CT scan. Oh, great. Are you discharging me, then? Not yet, I'm afraid. Uh, we'd like you to stay in, so we're going to move you to a ward as soon as bed becomes available. Why? What's wrong? Is this your, um... Boyfriend, yeah. I've tried to get rid of him a few times, but he keeps coming back, so might as well let him stay. <laughs> OK. Look, I'm afraid there's no easy way to say this, but we found something on your scan which concerns us. <laughs> That'd be the brain you were talking about, Joe. What is it? The scan shows a tumour. <laughs> a tumour? So can we talk to someone else about this? Not at the minute, but you can absolutely talk to another colleague tomorrow. Right. <sighs> Sorry. So that's a tumour? Right, but what? We'll have to do some more tests before we can confirm the diagnosis. So you're telling me you could be wrong, yeah? Lola, I've seen cases like this before, and I know it's difficult to hear, but there is a strong possibility that this tumour is cancer. <sighs> cancer? Listen to me. Listen to me. Look at me. Right, whatever it is, we will fight it. All right? 